Hey everybody, I'm Pete Doctor. Pixar started in 1986 with the dream to take the wonderful tradition of animation and transform it using state-of-the-art computer technology. Tradition and innovation, two opposing concepts, have been at the heart of Pixar since the very beginning. Since then, we've gone on to make 23 feature films and many, many shorts. And as a director of several of these films, it makes me so happy to hear that folks who grew up on these films as kids are now passing them along to kids of their own. It's hard to believe Pixar's been around 34 years, but you know what? Truth is, we're just getting started. Today, I'm excited to introduce you to a bunch of fresh new filmmakers. Getting their voices on the screen is our key focus right now, while at the same time allowing our veteran filmmakers to continue to mature and do their great work. And I think that's really what we do best at Pixar. We honor tradition while at the same time innovating for the future. Here's something that sure took a lot of innovation. It's our 23rd feature film called Soul. And it's one of the most challenging and rewarding projects I've ever directed, that's for sure. Soul is set in two distinct places, one that's familiar and one you've never seen before. The film looks into what makes us who we are and what we do with our limited time here on Earth. Appreciating the simple joys of life, finding the spark that makes you, you. The themes of soul feel so timely to us right now that we're happy that this movie will be shared this year with audiences around the world. We're excited to bring a little joy to everybody this holiday season. So let's take a look at what you'll see this Christmas on Disney+. Plus. Hang on, hang on. What are y'all laughing at? So Connie got a little lost in it. That's a good thing. Look, I remember one time my dad took me to this jazz club, and that's the last place I wanted to be. But then I see this guy, and he's playing his chords with force on it. And then with a minor, I was, oh, 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 oh. Then he has the inner voices, and it's like he's, it's like he's singing. And I swear the next thing I know, it, 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 it's like he, Floats off the stage. That guy was lost in the music. He was in it. And he took the rest of us with him. That's when I knew I was born to play. Look around. Life has so much to offer. We only have a short time on this planet. Don't miss out on the joys of life. Remember to enjoy every minute of it. <gasps> Joey! <laughs> what has gotten into you, Let boy? Let him finish. Cougar. Speaking of Disney+, Plus, we have a bunch of new projects we are making exclusively for the streaming service. Now, hopefully you've been able to check out some of our Spark Shorts. These are a collection of shorts made by a diverse group of new storytellers at Pixar. They've really struck a chord with many around the world. Our next Spark Short, Burrow, follows a young rabbit as she tries to build the home of her dreams. It's by first-time director Maddie Sharafian, and I'm excited to say it's going to be released on Disney Plus along with Soul this Christmas. We've also launched a new documentary series called Inside Pixar, which invites you into our studio for an up-close, never-before-seen look at the artistry, the craftsmanship, and the storytellers of Pixar. The first five episodes are available right now on Disney Plus, so check them out. And more are scheduled to be released in the coming months. Next, grab a quick snack with Pixar Popcorn. This collection of mini shorts feature your favorite Pixar characters in all new bite-sized stories created by Pixar animators. These were a blast to make. Pixar Popcorn comes to Disney Plus this coming January. 
We also have three all new series that you'll soon be seeing on Disney Plus. The first is near to my heart as it's a spin-off from Up called Doug Days. It's written and directed by the hilarious Bob Peterson, the creator of Forky Asks a Question and the voice of Doug. This brand new series follows our favorite talking dog, now with Carl as he returns from the dangers of the South American jungles to the dangers of suburbia. Here he will face many challenges, including puppies, fireworks, and of course, squirrel. Doug Days will premiere on Disney Plus in the fall of 2021. Here's a clip from one of our favorite episodes. Doug, could you watch him for a spell? I'll be right inside if you need me. Oh, yes, oh, yes. I will take care of the puppy. Uh, you might want to quiet it down. Oh, I want the puppies to wake up so that I may take care of the puppies. You got your wish. Puppies, puppies. Okay, here they come. <laughs> puppies! <laughs> oh. Oh, 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 puppies! <laughs> Have fun, Doug! <laughs> I am faster than you! <laughs> I am faster than a puppy! <laughs> Hello, puppies! It is me, Doug! Oh, puppies! <laughs> How did you get there? You caught me! <laughs> Ow! <laughs> sharp teeth, you puppy! Tiny puppy teeth! Puppy teeth! Ow! Oh, so sharp! Now I'm feeling chewed! Auto control! Ow! Puppy teeth! Tiny puppy teeth on me! Now I am turning! Ow! Oh, turning and hurting! It is kind of fun! Oh, fun and hurting! Ow! Bang, bang, bang. Next, we're excited to reignite the Cars franchise with an all-new series that follows Lightning McQueen and his best friend Mater as they head on a road trip across the country. These episodes will be filled with lots of fun new characters, imaginative destinations, as well as old friends checking in along the way. Our all-new Cars series is coming to Disney Plus in the fall of 2022. Following that, we're very excited to announce Pixar's first ever original, long-form animated series. This is a big deal for us. It's being written and directed by two young story artists, Carrie Hobson and Michael Yates. While working together on Toy Story 4, these two often noticed that they'd have very different impressions of the very same meeting. One would think it went great, the other thought it was a disaster. And they thought, hey, that would be a cool thing to explore. And it developed into an original series we're calling Win or Lose. This series follows a co-ed middle school softball team in the week leading up to their championship game. Each 20-minute episode follows the same week, but from the perspective of a different character. But it's not really so much about softball as it is a comedy about love, rivalry, and the challenges we all face in our struggle to win at life. Win or Lose is coming exclusively to Disney Plus in the fall of 2023. So, those are all projects we're working on for Disney+, Plus, all being made by our filmmakers in Emeryville with the same passion and excitement and quality as our feature films. And speaking of our feature films, we have an exciting lineup to share with you that really captures that perfect blend of tradition and innovation that I talked about earlier. At the center of each of our big tentpole films is a deeply personal story, and our next feature is no exception. Luca is the first feature for director Enrico Casarosa, who made the short film La Luna. And it's a love letter to Enrico's home country of Italy and a celebration of the universal themes of friendship. Set in a beautiful seaside town on the Italian Riviera, this original film is a heartfelt story about a young boy named Luca and his best friend Alberto, who experience an unforgettable summer filled with gelato, pasta, and endless scooter rides. Luca dives into theaters around the world in June 2021. Here's a sneak peek at our all-new trailer. After Luca, I'm excited to announce two, two new films today, both releasing in 2022. In the spring of 22, we have an original film directed by another first-time feature director, Domi Shi, who won an Academy Award for her Pixar short film, Bao. Get ready for Turning Red. This is May confident 13-year-old who's experiencing the excruciatingly awkwardness of being a teenager. 
Everything in her life is changing, her interests, her relationships, her body, and balancing all this with family and crushes and her devotion to the biggest boy band on the planet is no small feat. Oh, and one more little detail, whenever she gets too excited, which for a 13 year old is like always, she uncontrollably poofs into a giant red panda. Kinda like the Incredible Hulk, but cuter. Turning Red is an original take on the great tradition of coming of age comedies, albeit one with an emotional and a furry twist. And coming in the summer of 2022 is a science fiction adventure film unlike anything we've done before. At first glance, you might think, this is a Toy Story film. Well, not so fast. See, back when we created the very first Toy Story, we designed Buzz Lightyear with the idea that he was a toy based on some really cool character from an epic blockbuster film. Well, all these years later, we decided it's time to make that film. Directed by Pixar vet Angus McLean, co-director of Finding Dory, Lightyear is the definitive origin story of the original Buzz Lightyear and it reveals how this young test pilot became the space ranger we all know him to be today. And we're excited to announce this new Buzz Lightyear will be voiced by none other than Chris Evans. You don't get much more traditional Pixar than Buzz, and we're excited to have Chris's help in bringing a new twist to this iconic character. We can't wait to take audiences to infinity and beyond as Lightyear launches into theaters in the summer of 2022. So there you have it. Pixar continues to transform, even as we've become a proud part of the wonderful tradition of animation. We look forward to introducing you to even more characters, old and new, in years to come. Just uh, please don't tell Kevin Feige that we're hiring Chris Evans away from Marvel Studios, okay? Oh no, here he comes. Hey guys, one of the most legendary behind the scene moments comes courtesy of Pixar. In 1994 at a lunch meeting, four of Pixar's key creative heads, John Lasseter, Andrew Stanton, Pete Docter and Joe Ravft came together to map out what to do after their first full length animated film, Toy Story Hit Theatres. In one sitting, the four Pixar creative brainstormed ideas and characters that would eventually make it into A Bug's Life, Monsters Inc, Finding Nemo and WALL-E. Now remember to click here to below to subscribe or over here for more great content.